excuse me. Hello? Amir? Is this Raheem Khan? I need you to come see me in Pakistan. There's not much time left. And there's a way to be good again. Who is that, Amir? Is everything okay? It was an old friend. Raheem Khan. What did he want? He wants me to go back to Pakistan. What what do you need me to do? I just need to be alone right now. I need you to come see me in Pakistan. There's not much time left. For you, a thousand times over. And there's a way to be good again. Yeah, hop in the back. Where do you need to go? Um, I need to go to a man named Rahim Khan's house. Can you take me to him? Ah, oh, yes, anything for you, my friend. Let's just go, let's just go now. How have things been out here? I haven't been here in so long. Oh, it's hot. Terrorists kill my family. But I got the taxi business, so it's good. <laughs> That's good to hear. Welcome! Oh, thank you, thank you. Rakim, is that you? You look old and, and sick. <coughs> Amir, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, I'm glad you've had me anyways. Thank you for coming. Come let us catch up. It's been too long. So, you're a creative writer now. Yeah. You should have known. I've been teaching some kids out there in America. Yeah, with my free time. Yeah. I would have thought you would always be one of those nerds. And, um... Uh, I got married too, by the way, yeah. Oh, that is just wonderful. To whom did you get married? Uh, to General Tahiri's daughter. General Tahiri's daughter. Yeah, she's the one. Wow. So, so, so why don't you live in our house anymore? You said you take care of it. <coughs> so, Amiya, let me tell you about Hassan. Okay. So I was getting old. <coughs> <laughs> and then, it came to me. I wanted to find Hassan and Ollie. They could help me out with the garden. You know, the maintenance, all the all the work around the house. So I went looking for them. And I went to all the neighboring tribes and everything. And I found one living in the village. Hassan had married a lovely Hazara woman. And Ollie stepped on her mind. <laughs> and then, I brought them back. So Hassan came back with his wife, and they had a wonderful child. And then, his mom came back and died. And they had a stillborn, which had also died. And then, yeah, it's been a rough patch for everyone. <coughs> now this is where it gets important. The war was over. The Taliban had won. I went out and celebrated in the streets with all my fellow men. But then, we realized that the regime was even stricter than the ones before. What do you mean by that? Only two weeks after the peace, they began the pipeline. And two years after the peace, they began the massacre of all the Hassans. I can't believe they banned kite flying. Uh, does 
Does Han still live in the house? Son has this letter for you in this picture. It's for you. Man, he grew up so much. He grew up to be a strapping young man. He did. Amir, at last the Afghanistan of our youth is long dead. Kindness is gone from the land and you cannot escape the killings. There are always killings. In Kabul, fear is everywhere. In the streets, in the stadiums, in the market. The savages who rule don't care about human decency. The other day, I accompanied my wife, Ferranza, to the market to buy some potatoes. She asked the vendor how much they were, but he did not hear. So he asked louder. A young Tal Talib ran over, yelling and cursing at her. He hit her with a wooden stick, knocking her over, saying that women cannot speak loudly. But what could I have done? If I had fought, the dog would have gladly put a bullet in me. And what would happen to my soul, Rob? There are enough orphans in the streets already. I thank Allah that I am alive, not because I fear death, but because my wife has a husband. And my son has a father. I wish he could see Sorab, Arim Khan, and I've taught him to read and write so he does not grow up stupid like his father. And he can shoot a slingshot. The two of us walk up the hill to the old tree. Do you remember how we would sit there and read? Now, Sorab and I read the same books there. I need not tell you that his favorite one is Rostam and Sorab. I am very proud and a lucky father. Rahim Khan is quite, quite ill. He coughs all day and I see blood on his sleeve. He has lost much weight. I worry so much, this dear man, and I pray for him every day. He will leave for Pakistan in a few days to meet with doctors. But I fear for him and for Sharab as well as they are close. I've been dreaming a lot lately. I read some nightmares of corpse in the streets, but I mostly dream of good things. And I praise Allah for that. But I dream that Rahim Khan will be well. I dream that my son will grow up to be a good person, a free person, and a healthy person. I dream that flowers again will grow in Kabul, and that kites will line the skies. And I dream that someday you will return to Kabul and visit to the land of our childhood. And if you do, you will find an old faithful friend waiting for you, Hassan. Rumors had it that the Hazara had stolen the house and the Taliban began to investigate, even though the neighbors vouched for them. They told Hassan they would be moving in, supposedly to keep it safe. Hassan protested, so they took him to the street, ordered him to kneel. Should have gone for the gun. And shot him in the back of the head. No! There's something you can do. What's that? They had a kid. So rad. He's in an orphanage now, and there's an American couple that I know will look out for him. What I need you to do is pick him up, deliver him to them. Can't I just give you money or something? Why do I have to be the one? You insulted him! Ah! He's not about the money! I have a family. I have a career. I have, I have poems to write. Poems! I can't just leave all that to take up this dangerous quest! Grant this old man his dying <laughs> Baba used to say, a boy that can't stand up for himself is a man that can't stand up for anything. Well, maybe Baba was right. <laughs> but there's one more thing. Ollie, with Stara, could not get his wife pregnant, but she still had a boy. No, she didn't. Yes, Hassan was your half-brother. No! <sighs> was a lie! I have this friend named Barry. He will help you on your quest. Godspeed, my good man. So, how was your talk with Rahim? It was alright. Um, he told me to meet up with a guy named Farid. He said he'd help me on my quest. Do you know him? Ah, Farid. Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Can you take me to him? Ah, oh, yes. Anything for you, my friend. Let's just go! Let's just go now!
the orphanage that we can find Sarab? I, I think so, yeah. Okay, bet. <gasps> what door are we going? What number? G or A? This is why I hate all the orphans in the world. <laughs> What's going on? Hold on. One thing, where's Sorab? I'll do you one better. Who is Sorab? I'll do you one better. Why is Sorab? Tell me where the boy is, or I promise you I'll french fry this little boy. Yeah, let's go, let's go. You shoot my guy, I shoot yours, all right? Do it. Do it, Amir. I can take it. He can't take it. No, he really can't take it. If you don't want to tell me where he is, that's fine. I'll kill all three of you and beat it out of the Taliban myself. Wait, the Taliban? Let me ask you this. What master do you serve? What master do I serve? What do you expect me to say, Allah? You're from Afghanistan. No, I'm not from Afghanistan, I'm from Kabul. If that's in Afghanistan, dipstick. Wait, so you're not even with the Taliban? With the Taliban? No, I'm here to kill a Taliban. Wait, they took my boy. Wait, who are you guys? We're from the orphanage, man. Come with me. So, my name is Zaman. I'm Amir. I'm Fareed. So, Amir and Fareed, what brings you to my orphanage? We're looking for the child. Uh, so Rab. This is the child who has caused much destruction. Is he here? No, he's not here. <laughs> We're not with the Taliban! This man wants to take him to a safe place, okay? We're safe. Look, I come from Peshawar. I, I know the boy's father. I know the boy. I'm the boy's half-uncle. Look, I already told you. The boy is not here. Then where could he be? You already be? You might already be too late. Look, two months ago, a Taliban official came in here. He comes in here every month, and he takes a few of the children. I could kill this man right now for what he's letting happen. Give me a break! Look. He pays. You've seen this place. There are not enough beds for the children, not enough food to feed them. He comes, he pays me, and he takes a few kids. If I refuse, maybe he comes anyway and doesn't pay. Then I can't feed the rest of the children. I don't have a choice. These times are tough, okay? I do what I have to do to keep this place running. And two months ago, he took him. I don't know where he is. But I know where he's going to be. Tomorrow afternoon, there's a soccer game at Ghazi Stadium. At noon, okay? If you go there, the official you're looking for should be there. Assuming the boy's still alive, you'll find you'll find the official there. He's in the red truck, okay? And that's where we'll go. And also, take these with you. You guys stick out like a sore thumb here in the new Afghanistan. You put those on, the Taliban might talk to you. I wish you guys luck.
war is raging all around, but here in Kabul, we can still come together and watch a little bit of football. My name is Jack Cook, and I am the host of Fox Sports Kabul, and we have a 2v2 soccer game today in store for you. As the fans settle into their seats, we're just about set to kick off, and the teams will emerge from their locker rooms here momentarily. The team number one, Noah Tattershall, comes out of the locker room first. He's the captain of the home team, the Tigers, and his partner, Scott Parker, and they make up the home team, the Tigers, and uh, here they come running onto the field. Oh, need a handshake for the two lads, and now here they come. And the home, the home crowd gives them a nice standing ovation as they come out onto the field. And they see their opponents warming up on the far sideline. It's Tyra Campbell and Colin Chastain. And the two meet together at midfield, and they'll shake hands before the competition. Keep it friendly, and Scott Parker kicks off, and we're underway. Campbell going to work, lays one off for Colin Chastain. Chastain back to Campbell, one time short, just to the left of the goal. Campbell looking to strike early, and now Parker and Tattershaw back. Tattershaw back to Parker, free run, oh, and on the post! <laughs> Parker just puts it straight off the side post, and the score is still nil-nil. And now Chastain with the turnover, Tattershaw open goal, and it's in! The grass used to be so much greener. I remember whenever Bobby used to take me here as a kid, but everything's changed now. Everything's so different. Yeah! The Taliban hurts people for cheering. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to keep it down. And the fans got a little excited for that one as Tattershall puts the Tigers on top, one to nothing. Back to action, and Campbell. Dribbling with it now, cuts it back to the right. Parker gets a foot on it for a second, not able to take possession. Campbell forces him out of bounds, and now Campbell open shot with the left foot off the right crossbar, and the score is still a one nothing. So Tattershaw and Parker gives it up. Tat Tattershaw across Chastain, through wall, open up Parker, it doesn't matter, it's in the goal! Tattershaw gets his second of the game to make it 2 nothing in favor of the Tigers. And now the halftime whistle just about to blow, and there it is. Score 2 nil in favor of Noah and Scott as we go into the locker room. And the Taliban have a show performed for us at halftime. So a little football in a show. So we'll see you after the second half. We are here today to carry out the will of Allah and the word of the prophet Muhammad. Peace be with you. We listen to what God says because we are nothing but humble, powerless creatures in the face of God's wrath. Amen. And what does God say? God says that every sinner must be punished according to their sin. Those are not my words, but the word of ours. And what punishment fits that of an adulterer? And what do we do to those who spit in the face of God? How do we answer those who shoot the windows of God's house? We shoot them back. You should be grateful. What the heck? Why are they cheering like that? I don't know. I thought we were supposed to. We got business with the official. Business? How about three o'clock? Sounds good to me. Thank you, Free. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, man. I, I feel like a tourist in my own country. Why is that? Everything's changed since I was last here. 
You've always been a tourist in this country. What do you mean? Let me guess. You've always had a nice house, two, maybe three stories. You move to America when things get bad, and then now you're coming back to sell the land. Is that really why you think I'm here? A little bit, yeah. When I was young, my baba owned two slaves, a Hazaran and a son. The Hazaran got married, but was unable to have kids. So my father took the role and had a kid with his wife. That child grew up to be my best friend. He had a son who's here now somewhere, and I'm here to find him. Man, I'm sorry. It's a real honor to, for me to take you to do this. You know, they won't let us go in together. They want you to be there alone. Well, if things don't go as planned, thanks for everything, Fareed. I'll keep the car running for you. My door's locked. Is this a three o'clock appointment? Yes, it is. All right. Just wait there, and we'll be back. You can take that off, man. Well, I don't know what you mean. You're cute. And now this best one I've seen so far. Almost fooled me. A sticky one. Did you like the show today? Do you mean the soccer game? Yeah. It's beautiful. You got some drama, a little action. There are most of your flicks. The best part is education. If you really wanted the show, you should have been there a little later with all those little bizarre children, fathers, wounded mothers. Blind, deaf, a lot of sissies, a lot of You're an animal. Indeed. You remember that, boys? I remember that. I was there. So, you from America? I'm looking for a boy, <coughs> aren't we all? His name's Sorab, and I understand he's with you. Why do you want this boy? I've been away for a long time. That's not a freaking answer. Right, boys? That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's not an answer. I just want the boy. You know, I could have you arrested for this. But does this scare you? It should. How, how's that old crib? I'm, uh, Ollie. Ollie? Yeah. You know, Amir? It's been a long time. A Seth? Is that you? That's right. I never get a face. What are you doing here, Seth? I'm right where I belong, boy. The real question is, why are you here? Seth, you have something I want. You may think you have some idea of what you have possession of, but you do not. Soon, he will be back with me. He means more to me than you could ever imagine. Bring the child. Leave us. If they leave, do not harm them. They've earned that right if they leave. Of course, boss. Okay. I would reconsider if I were you. You know what I've been doing for all these years? I've been just sitting around. The almighty Allah is on my side. You wanna know how I know this? Oh. It's an interesting story. Sit down, children. I will tell you. Okay. So once I was in prison. It was horrible. Horrible food. There was maggots in it. They didn't give me my special pillow that I requested. I got a little, little a little angry with the guards. Yes, I didn't get the special pill. 
and they just started kicking. And they passed a kidney stone for me. That's how I know I was on my side. Since then, I've received the rights where I am now. So in other words, I'm daddy. I love ACDC. You need help. What's going on in there? I know, brother. Kill him. I'm gonna get him, brother. Brother, I'm loving you. I'll be okay. I don't think you will, but brother, I don't feel so good. You won't be avenged. I had a dream it would end this way. And that dream has become a nightmare. Let's get out of here. Uh, You've been out for several days. I, I just got back from seeing Raheem Khan and he gave me this letter for you. <sighs> but there's a problem. You know that American family was supposed to adopt Sarab? Of course, yeah. They don't exist. What? what? What do you mean they don't exist? They, they just made them up. Raheem Khan made it. Give it, give it a good old read. I can't, I can't believe that he did that. I just can't believe it. Amir, I am ashamed of the lies we told you all of those years. You were right to be angry because you had a, the right to know. So did Hassan. I know it doesn't make a good excuse, 
But in Kabul, in those weird days, some things were more important than truth. Amir, I know how hard your father was on you growing up and how you longed for his affections, and my heart bled for you. But your father has torn between two halves, you and Hassan. He loved you both, but he couldn't love Hassan the way he wanted to as a father, so he took it out on you. Amir, the socially legitimate half. When he saw you, he saw himself and his guilt. You are still angry and I know it's too soon for you to accept this, but maybe someday you will realize that when he was being hard on you, he was also being hard on himself. Your father, like you, has a tortured soul. I cannot describe the sorrow that came over me when I heard of his passing. I loved him because he was my friend, but also because he was a good man, maybe even a great man. I think the good that he did was out of remorse, feeding the poor in the streets, building his orphanage, helping friends in need. It was all his way of redeeming himself. And that, I believe, is true redemption, Amir. When guilt leads to good. I know that in the end, God will forgive. He will forgive your father, me, and you too. I hope you do the same. Forgive your father if you can. Forgive me if you wish, but most importantly, forgive yourself. I have left you some money, most of what I have left, in fact. I think you may have some expenses when you return to Pakistan. And hopefully, the money is enough to cover them. Farid knows the location of the bank. As for me, it is time to go. I have little time left and I wish to spend it alone. Please do not look for me. This is my final request of you, Amir. I leave you in the hands of God. Your friend always, Rahim Khan. So, I guess that means I'm going to have to take the kid home. Well, I talked to the adoption official and he said you can have him. So, Reb, would you like to come home with me? Will he not speak? Ever since the fight, he hasn't said anything. Let's go home. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, you can't hide the kid forever. Yeah. Sarayas told me so much about you. You're even more handsome in person. Good to see you, son. Boy, look at me when you talk to me. I'm gonna go see what Sarayas is doing in the kitchen. <laughs> So, uh, how was Afghanistan? It's good. It's good. Uh, Taliban? <laughs> they're still, still, yeah. still blowing stuff up? <sighs> I mean, it's bad, but, you know, you gotta... What's the government do? I don't know. It's never too long. Hmm. Try to get out there. Hmm. The Taliban. Dinner's ready. Oh, thank goodness. So, Amir, Soraya told me you got mugged in Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad. Not fun. Not, not, not fun. Got mugged, yeah. Seven broken ribs from getting mugged. Yeah, um, they, they hurt me. They took some things, but thankfully they didn't take my life for that. I'm really thankful for it. My goodness. So who's the kid? General, don't ask such pressing questions. Well, I have to worry about the perception of my family and why this is our boy is what is my daughter. What am I going to tell him? General, you can tell hey, him that- right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Captain has a point. All right, listen. My, my father had a son from another mother, and his name was Hassan. But this here is his son, Sorab. I'm the boy's uncle. And one more thing, General. Don't ever call Manasara into my presence ever again. His name's Sora. Me and your father used to fly kites. Your father was the best kite runner in all of Afghanistan. You know, I still don't even know why we're out here. We used to shoot each other's BB guns when I was a kid. So family. It's tradition.
My bad. It was tradition to shoot each other at the events. You ready to fly this kite with me? All right, let's go. Why is the kite flying away? Oh, oh no, the, the string broke. That BB guns don't do that. Do you want me to run the kite for you? For you? A thousand times over.
you, you just need to stay still. I don't just need to hit by a slipper. 